think after three and a half years, we realized that Ecofix was a very big, ambitious project. It's also um, a pioneer project in its domain. And I think it's a project where we wanted to, to do everything. <laughs> I'd be the first to do everything like that. Um, it wasn't, uh, it hasn't been an easy project because it's not always, it's not easy when we work on, on plant roots for a start because, for example, we have to go to the field, we have to discuss with the, the local farmers if we can go and dig great big holes in their field and that's not always easy um, when it's just before harvest time, for example. Um, and then digging, 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 digging by hand is also is, is very hard work, but also add to that the complexity of working with different uh, types of people in different countries, different climates, different cultures, and trying to draw um, results from hypotheses uh, that where we think that we we have uh, we're using the same hypothesis for different different climates and different countries um, makes for a very complex project and. Uh, but I think we, we, we did it. Um, maybe there are things we could have done in different ways that would have been better, but you can only say that with hindsight. Um, and I think that uh, this is the, one of the first types of research projects in this field, um, which is agroecology field, where we're going out into the field studying what's happening in the field underground and trying to relate that to different um, agroforestry or different agroecology practices. And I think it's very important to do these kinds of experiments out in the field, not just in the laboratory, in a natural environment, because that's where you get the real results. It's very complex. You can't control everything. But that's reality. And I think that's what Ecosfix was aiming at, um, the reality of things. So a difficult project, but um, I think we, we achieved what we set out to do at the beginning of the project. When, we, when you coordinate a project, it's important to get all the people, all the partners in the same room Ecospeaks. and to make sure that we all use the same vocabulary, the same language to understand each other. And that's not always easy because there's always somebody missing <laughs> who missed out the first meeting, who couldn't be there. And so it's always a little bit difficult to try and get the partners, uh, a cohesion between the partners and uh, to make sure that everybody understands each other carefully from, correctly from the beginning. And then the second project, the second prob difficult thing with a project like that is really the chain of work um, because this field work and then this laboratory work and then this modeling work and uh, it's very difficult uh, for the field work to be finished before the uh, laboratory work starts and the modeling work. So, um, there's still, uh, there can still be some anal um, chemical analysis of soil, for example, which needs doing two years after the beginning of the project, but there's been several problems with this work. And when we, ha when we have this kind of logistical problem, it's, then it's difficult for the modelers to start their work. <laughs> so it's uh, difficult. It's, it's like a big jigsaw puzzle and uh, all the different pieces have to fit in correctly. And uh, w with everybody staying calm <laughs> and correct, Collected. So it's, it is a little bit difficult to do all that amount of work in a very short space of time, really. Yeah, I, th I think um, one of the most important results is that uh, through working in different climates, different countries, um, different types of uh, forest and agroforestry sites, that we found a very interesting relationship between this diversity of plant species on a site and um, the amount of carbon that is sequestered into the soil. So we believe that it's very important that there's a much greater diversity of plants on a site and 
that increases the carbon sequestered into the soil. Uh, we don't quite know the mechanism, but it's uh, be through interactions between plant roots and microorganisms, probably. So that's one, one very good result. And then we also um, show how um, uh, increasing the diversity of plant species also improves the soil resistance to erosion and uh, also shallow landslides. So that's another very important result. So uh, overall in the project, we show the importance of uh, plant diversity uh, for soil health. Re well, I mean, I, I, I wasn't working particularly on agroforestry or on mixed crops before I started this project. So I've discovered um, the import importance of uh, plant diversity and how that can change soil properties and how that can improve soil properties if we have a good plant diversity and a good also soil um, microorganism diversity. Um, that you can achieve through agroforestry. So I think if I were to choose a research project uh, with unlimited resources, I would focus more on agroforestry and also the, the soil diversity, um, like microorganism diversity in the soil and how that interacts, how those microorganisms interact with uh, roots and how they change soil properties to improve soil properties and how different agroforest practices change that soil health, we can call it. So I think I would go more along those lines because I think that's the way forward when, in the future.